hello guys welcome back to our youtube channel um, we miss you guys and uh, if you haven't subscribed we would encourage you to please subscribe to um, our channel and for all those that have been supporting us right from day one and have subscribed we say a very big thank you and today we are back with an exciting information on how to migrate or relocate to the United States uh, America is calling through the diversity visa immigrant program 2025 and some of you may call it the green card lottery or american lottery is opened and i want to share with you some tips and gist on how to submit an outstanding entry and to ensure that you increase your chances of being selected so stay tuned As I stated earlier on, the purpose of this video is to walk you through some tips that you need to look out for when it comes to the uh, Diversity Immigrant Visa Program 2025 or the Green Card Lottery or the American Lottery. And some of you may be asking why is it called DV Program 2025? The simple rationale or reason behind that is all entries are going to be submitted this year 2023 and by 2024 in may the results are going to be released and it is the expectation that between may 2024 when the results are released you know by the time that you complete the final application which is filling out the ds-160 form it is expected that if you win you are going to be in the united states of america by the year 2025 and so that is the rationale that is the reason why it is called the dv program 2025 and um there are no fees so if anyone is wanting to charge you any fee or if you are going to any website that is asking you for a fee, I will highly discourage you from doing that and I will strongly encourage you to apply it yourself because there is no fee, there is no cost. The only time that you may be required to pay any fee is when you are selected and you need to process your visa, you will need to pay a token or a fee to uh, process your visa and so there is no application fee the website to apply is the dvprogram.state.gov dvprogram.state.gov and you can see the website right here so just make sure you go there and you apply but before you do i would strongly encourage you to stay to the end of this video as I'm going to share some wonderful tips to increase your chances of being selected and to begin with you need to ensure that the photograph that you are submitting meets the requirement and uh, you know the passport photograph for the United States of America is uh, you know I'll say is entirely different from other parts of the world and so um, the requirement is that it has to be two inches by two inches. It needs to be in a square form and it has to be 600 pixels by 600 pixels. You need to take a picture, uh, you know, behind a white background, a plain white background. There shouldn't be any shadows of any form. You are not allowed to wear glasses so if you wear um, you know glasses like mine when you are going to take the picture you have to take it off you don't there are no uniforms that are you know um, acceptable so you cannot be in your wet uniform and also the only exception when you can have um, uh, a covering is if you're Muslim that you wear hijab or if you, you are a Roman sister or you know a Catholic priest or whatever it is then you can wear your hijab and make sure that your face is showing make sure that your face is showing so the picture it has to be two inches by two inches 600 pixels by 600 pixels and 300 dpi by 300 dpi making sure that your head is taking about 50 to 60 percent 
off the entire frame of the passport picture and you have to be centered so you don't have to move uh you know your head or tilt your head or any anything of that sort so i would encourage you just go to a photographer and tell them that hey i, I want um, a US passport picture and they are going to show you uh, they, they are going to give you the best picture you just take the raw digital picture there's no need for you to print it out um, the next point that I want to talk about or the next tip is there are no requirements right there are no requirements when you're applying a couple of years ago they started requiring that you need to input your passport information but this year none of that is, is is available or applicable the only requirement when is that when you are selected you need to have proof that you have a high school um, education or equivalent right so if you are in Ghana it's not junior high school but it's senior high school degree or certificate so that is the requirement when you are selected and also if you don't meet the senior high school uh, degree or equivalent then there is that option for you to uh, use a qualifying work experience and what i mean by qualifying work experience that if you go to the uh, dv program state gov there are certain requirements there is a website i'm going to place the link in the um comment section or the description section and you can check it out whether uh, the job that you are working or the profession that you are in counts as a qualifying experience and you have to have two years of qualifying work experience within the past five years so if you cannot meet the high school uh, qualification then uh, obviously be on the lookout for um uh, qualifying with your occupation that is two years of qualifying work experience also when you are applying you have to be from um, a country that is eligible to participate right so um, for the DV program 2025 there are going to be 55,000 uh, you know up to 55,000 immigrant visas that will be available uh, for those that are going to participate but there are certain countries that due to their population you know they've reached the threshold for the DV program so what it is that the 55,000 is not going to go to one country so all over the world everyone that is applying stand a chance of being selected so you know it is kind of um, the various continents or so Africa Europe Asia the Americas you know the um, you know Antarctica all these countries so certain countries like Nigeria China South Korea um, Nepal Mexico India these countries do not qualify simply because they've meet their threshold of the visa so there are no more visas available for them right and also united kingdom was just recently added to the dv program 25 that is not eligible but if you are from any other country then you definitely qualify so make sure that you are selecting your country of eligibility to uh, match the country that meets this requirement and in filling out the form there are three questions that talks about it so there's your country of birth there's the country of eligibility and there's the country of your current residence so for example uh, you know you might be a Ghanaian that was born let's say in Nigeria and you are currently living in um, you know United Kingdom or you are living in Spain so in this case you might not um, qualify based on the country that you were born because even though you're a Ghanaian you were born in Nigeria that disqualifies you uh, when it comes to the country of eligibility however you can claim Ghana as your country of eligibility and also if um, you know let's say you are married you are Nigerian and you are married to a Ghanaian or to uh, you know uh, someone from any other country that is eligible you can claim your spouse's country as the country of eligibility so don't be confused but make sure that the country of eligibility that is being selected is um, eligible or it meets the requirement so these things that I've talked about 
uh, you know, the photo requirement, um, you know, the high school degree or the two years qualifying experience, as well as the country of eligibility, these things um, disqualifies so many people. So, um, you know, when it comes to the photo, it, if you are confused, you don't know, there is a, a video that we've made that we, we walk you through the step by step. The next tip that I would like to share with you is you have to make sure that when you are filling out um, the your entry on the dvprogram.state.gov, you need to make sure that you enter all the required um, questions that they are asking you and you have up to 30 minutes so before you go uh, to, 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 to start out strongly encourage you that you have everything set right there uh, about let's say between 13 and 15 questions that they are going to ask your name your gender uh, your, your country of birth the country of eligibility uh, your country of residence um, your marital status, your highest level of education, the number of children that you have and what have you. So uh, your mailing address, your email address, your phone number. So before you go to the website, make sure that you have everything ready because within 30 minutes, you are going to be timed out. And you know, after you you, you put in all this information, make sure that you are using your own email right make sure you are using your own email so don't if someone is applying for you if you don't have an email address create one because when you are selected come may 2024 a lot of the communication is going to happen through the email so if someone gets access to that email and you don't have access they might want you to pay money before releasing uh you know the information to you so i strongly encourage you that you use your own email if you don't have one it's very easy to create an email whether it's a, a gmail or yahoo whatever it is make sure that you are creating an email and you are using your own email um, the next step that i would like to share with you is that you have to enter all your biological children right so if you are married you have kids or um you know if you are divorced and you have kids whatever be the case if you have kids you have to enter the information for all your children the reason being that if you are selected your children will also automatically um qualify to have access to the visa or the green card and um so it can either be your biological children uh, adopted children or stepchildren so if they are adopted you need to make sure that you have the right legal documents to prove that these are your children and the children that you are entering their information when you are submitting your entry they have to be 21 years and under and also unmarried at the time of the submission so if they are going to turn 21 in the next couple of weeks and you are submitting your entry today, they still, quali they still qualify. If they are going to be 22 by November, as of the time that we are applying, they qualify. So make sure that you are putting all the necessary information in. And again, there is no age limit. There is no age limit, there is no age requirement for you to have a submission or an entry into the DV program 2025. But obviously, uh, before you have, uh, you can complete high school, you should be probably around 18 years old. Technically, even though there is no age requirement, uh, all other things being equal, you should be uh, 18 years and above and apply if you are 15 or 13 and uh, you, you have a high school degree, yeah, you can go ahead and apply. And the next step to increase your chances or prevent you from being disqualified is that you have to enter only one entry. So it's only one entry. You don't have to have multiple entries because multiple entries automatically leads to a disqualification. And there are some people, some agents have taken your information years ago. You may not even be aware. So if you are also entering for yourself, then obviously you are going to be disqualified and um you know this is a computer generated 
uh, program there are no human interventions in it so the computer uh, program has been set to you know meet certain requirements so those requirements that if you enter two entries or your passport uh, photograph does not meet the requirement that you know that obviously uh, you are automatically um, disqualified um, if you if you haven't subscribed i strongly encourage you to subscribe to our channel uh, as we have a lot of um, videos and information installed right here on this channel um the last but one tip that i want to give you is that when you are selecting your marital status if you are married you have to select the appropriate one so they have married or married um, divorced legally separated and whatnot so if you are married put married and make sure you do have marriage certificate to show because like i said when you are submitting the entry there there is no requirement they are not going to ask you for proof of anything but when you are selected if you are married you need to um prove that as of the time that you you submitted the entry your marriage existed prior to that so uh, someone will ask what if i have a fiance or i have a fiance it, it doesn't count because when you get selected and you are asked to show your marriage certificate and your marriage certificate you show that you got married in 2024 but you submitted in 2023 that you are married obviously you are not uh, going to move on in the application process so the um, entry submission is just one step that i think about you know let's say about five or six steps in all because you submit your entry you have to be selected once you are selected you need to be screened uh you know present all your um uh proof of uh, uh citizenship so if you whether it's a passport birth certificate whatever it is so when you are selecting your marital status make sure that you select the right one and remember i told you that there's only one entry but here is a bonus tip right if you are married if you are married then you have the opportunity of being entered twice one being that you are going to be a primary applicant so if you are married you will be the first entry being a, a primary applicant and you can attach your wife as a secondary uh, applicant to to that entry and also your wife can also be a primary applicant by putting in a new entry on its own so in that way you now have two chances you now have two chances of being selected so i strongly encourage you that if you are married you have children put all, all your spouse and all your kids information in there and ensure that your spouse is also uh, submitting an entry and putting you on there as well as your kids to increase your chances all right guys so these are the few tips and gist that uh, i'm sharing with you for you to increase your chances of winning as i said in the beginning of this video there are no fees required to submit an entry just go to the dvprogram.state.gov and submit your own entry make sure you have an email make sure you are putting in all the right information and uh, if uh, you know you have any questions or you need any support Feel free to use the comment section below and reach out to us and we will be willing to help you out. If uh, we are thinking of coming live and showing you how to submit the entry, there's a lot of time. We have about three or four weeks to go. Uh, the uh, DV program open on October 4th and it's going to run all the way through November 7th. So you still have some time. Go take your picture gather all the information that you need to gather and start putting in your application don't wait till the last minute and uh, because some people are going to wait to the last minute the website is going to have a lot of traffic that is going to uh, cause the traffic to uh, uh, i mean cause the website to to jam and whatnot so there is the best time for you to apply and uh, it doesn't really matter whether you submitted it on the first day which it came out or the last day that is going to come out everyone that submits an application between october 4th and november 7th 
stands an equal chance of winning and so if you are interested this is the opportunity for you america is calling united states of america is calling the land of opportunities guys go ahead and put in your entry if you have any questions reach out let's get interactive and until we come your way again next time stay blessed Thank you.